In this video, I would like to give you an overview of this course and answer questions like Is this course right for you? What all we will be covering in this course? How will this course help you crack your next system design interview? So let's dive in. Firstly, what exactly is system design? In simple words, given a problem, you have to come up with a software system that solves that problem. For example, design a ride hailing service like Uber. As a candidate, you have to come up with a solution for this problem. Next, what is expected from a candidate? We'll continue with our Uber example. As a candidate who's given the problem to design Uber in 45 minutes to one hour, you must be wondering, how can I come up with a design for something that took some of the smartest engineers years to build? Well, don't worry. Nobody is expecting you to come up with exact same architecture as running in production in Uber. However, what is expected is that are you able to break down the problem into its parts? For example, are you able to identify that there is a rider part and driver part to the problem in case of our Uber example? Are you able to identify different workflows of the system? For example, ride booking, ride cancellation, payment for the ride, etc. Are you able to come up with the suitable tools and technologies that you will use to build different parts of your system. For example, databases, load balancer, caches, etc. Are you able to justify your choice of tools by explaining both its pros as well as its cons? Finally, does the design that you come up with is somewhat equivalent to first rough sketch of MVP? that is minimum viable product that would have given you brief idea of what all is expected from you so how will this course help you tackle your next SDI that is system design interview unlike DSL go rounds where you have to come up with a solution that passes the test cases and can be judged objectively SDIs are subjective in nature in SDI, you have to use your breadth and depth of technical knowledge while coming up with a solution. To tackle an SDI problem, you have to know enough about various components that go into the architecture of a web scale system. For example, you should know the purpose of various components like load balancer, caches, API gateway, etc. Where do these fit in in an architecture? when does it make sense to use them and when it doesn't i have designed the course content for this course which you can look up in this page i have included almost all the components various patterns and trade-offs that you will need to keep in mind while designing a system Throughout the course, we'll be illustrating the concepts with the help of real-world examples of problems that you are likely to face in your next SDI. Hope to see you in the course. Goodbye.